वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं दी फिफ्थ न्यूमेरिकल फ्रॉम दी एक्सरसाइज फॉर द चैप्टर मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉलिड्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ द क्वेश्चन सीज कैलकुलेट दी वर्क डन इन स्ट्रेचिंग अ स्टील वायर ऑफ लेंथ टू मीटर्स एंड हुज क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू टू फाइव मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर वेन अ लोड ऑफ हंड्रेड न्यूटन इज स्लोली अप्लाइड टू द वायर ऑन इट्स फ्री एंड The Young's modulus for the material steel is said to be 2 into 10 raised to 11 newton meter square. So this is a pretty straightforward and a small numerical. So let's start. हमारे पास एक wire है जिसे हमने एक force लगाया है because of which our wire will extend and we have to calculate the work done during this extension. So let's write the given data. So the first data is given to us is the length of the wire as 2 meters. So capital L is 2 meters. Second is the information about the cross sectional area. We represented as capital letter A, said to be zero point zero two two five millimeter square. Now we have to convert millimeter square into its SI counterpart. So zero point two two five millimeter square is zero point two two five into ten raised to minus six meter square. So that's the conversion factor. One millimeter square is ten raised to minus six meter square. And let's simplify this term a little bit further as 2.25 into 10 raised to minus 8 meter square. Uh, we have done a simple decimal shift over here. इसके बाद हमें दिया है the value for the load or the force experienced by the wire. So that is F is equal to 100 newton. And then we have the Young's modulus for the material steel, which is said to be 2 into 10 raised to 11 newton meter square. Pretty standard. Now, using all this given data, हमसे पूछा है टू कैलकुलेट दी वर्क डन इन स्ट्रेचिंग द वायर सो डब्ल्यू वी रेप्रेजेंट वर्क डन एज कैपिटल लेटर डब्ल्यू एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड दैट सो दैट्स अन नोन टू अस नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ फॉर्मुलाज वी कैन यूज टू कैलकुलेट आर वर्क डन सो फॉर दिस चैप्टर वर्क डन इज डिफाइंड एज हाफ इन टू दी फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस बाय द वायर इन टू दी चेंज इन लेंथ सो डेल्टा एल बट अगर आप नोटिस करोगे कि गिवन में हमारे पास डेल्टा एल के बारे में कोई भी इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं है बट हमें ये भी पता है कि वी कैन कैलकुलेट डेल्टा एल एज एफ इंटू एल डिवाइडेड बाय ए इंटू वाई वेर एफ इज फोर्स एल इज लेंथ ऑफ द वायर एरिया क्रॉस सेक्शनल ए एंड यंग मॉडल इज वाई नाउ इफ वी वर टू सब्सटीट्यूट दिस टर्म इन प्लेस ऑफ डेल्टा एल वी माइट गेट एन अपडेटेड फॉर्मूला फॉर आर वर्क डन सो लेट मी मार्क दिस एज अ सेकेंड फॉर्मूला फॉर वर्क डन It is half into F into the term delta L expressed in terms of F, L, and A and Y. And if we go further and solve it again, so we get half into F square into L divided by A into Y. Okay. So this is the formula which will fetch us the value for work done. And if you notice, F, L, A, and Y are already given to us in our given data. so a simple substitution will fetch us the value for our work done so calculation mein hum likhenge from formula number 2 that is the formula to calculate work done so w is said to be half into the square of the force so 100 ka square into the l that is uh, 2 meters divided by the cross sectional areas which is said to be 2.25 into 10 raised to minus 8 Into the Young's modulus for steel, whose value is two into ten raised to eleven. So what we have done is we have substituted the values for each of the entities. Now let's try to simplify this further. So we get hundred ka square is ten thousand, which can be written as ten raised to four into two. And denominator may we have two into two point two five, that is the cross sectional area. Into two, and if we were to multiply ten raised to minus eight into ten raised to eleven, we get ten raised to three. Okay, so हम क्या कर सकते हैं? We can cancel out uh, two in the numerator by two in the denominator. Then we can multiply these two terms. That is two point two five into two, and we can divide ten raised to four by ten raised to three. And if we were to perform all these calculations, we would get 10 to 4 divided by 10 to 3 is 10, and 2 into 2.25 gives us 
which can be expressed as 100 upon 45. So, upar bhi 10 se multiply kiya, niche bhi 10 se multiply kiya, and this can be simplified as 20 by 9. So, 100 divided by 5, 45 divided by 5, which gives us 20 by 9. And now, if we were to divide 20 by 9, we get the value as 2.222 and so on. So, this is the value for our work done. So, it is 2.222 joules. That is the units to measure work done. So, work done while stretching our steel wire is set to be 2.22 joules. So, that's it. If you want the PDF of the solution, make sure to check the link given in the description. Have a nice day.